Emily Maha found out why the state is still taking applications for the program in this 4029 News investigation. Many of us head to a shelter the moment we hear a tornado siren, but building one of these isn't cheap. The state has a rebate program to help you cut costs, but getting that help could take months or even years. It's an image you'll never forget. The EF5 tearing through Moore, Oklahoma. Or the EF5 devastating Joplin, Missouri. But it's this one that hit much closer to home that for many unforgettable. It looks like this is the largest loss of life that we've seen in one tornado incident since I've been there. The EF4 wiped out Bologna and Mayflower. And for Kyle Cleaver, not having any safe spot to go, I knew we needed to do something. It's one of the reasons he built this storm shelter. After seeing Joplin, after seeing uh, you know uh, Mayflower, just those bigger wedge tornadoes getting closer, I thought you know Bainville hasn't had one, Rogers hasn't had one that is that big, but still wanted to have some place, some safe place to go. So he built this, an underground storm shelter in the floor of his family's garage. The first experience was kind of like, okay, it's time to go. On March 26, Kleber heard sirens go off in Benton County and got his wife and two kids into their brand new shelter. Carroll County, all units, there is a confirmed tornado on the ground. Confirmed tornado on the ground. Stand by for location. That same storm produced a tornado that touched down just one county over. We have a tornado that is on the ground. Repeat, tornado on the ground. It's going to be southwest of Berryville at this time. We're trying to get more information. Kleber and his family rode out that storm underground in their shelter. It kind of caught us off guard, but it, we were close enough to. Uh, the shelter not having to go anywhere. And the investment paid off. An expensive investment. It was 3500 installed, all the extra costs. It, it was, there was no tax. That was, the, that was the price. Kleber did some research before forking over that cash. Well, I looked at different uh, companies out of Oklahoma and Arkansas and even Missouri just to kind of price and see which ones they offered. It was during those searches he learned about the state's storm shelter rebate program. Called a few people in Lowell and they said, well, you know, there's no funds. No funds? Well, when we come back, the state says why the state says it's out of money for those rebates and how many people are waiting for the state to cut them a check.